can rise as high as his women. Right? But men gotta be strong enough to elevate. We gotta hold you up. <laughs> we can talk this narrative all we want to and we can continue to put it on women. Through misogyny and shit, that's another point. Misogyny is some bullshit. We're all misogynists. And don't even know it. Cause, and then we fuck it up because it's like, we think misogyny is just, is just motherfucking, you know, disliking women. Even women think misogyny is just hating women. You know that the truest inception of misogyny is the competition between men, not even the hatred of women. It just so happens that the greatest gift given to a man is a woman. So now I hate you so much, now I gotta hate your woman. And I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna fuck her, I'm gonna do whatever you want to fuck with you. You feel what I'm saying? Misogyny runs deep. And then when you add the massage noir to it, the hatred of black women, yeah, yeah, it's problematic, bro. And it needs to stop. Yeah, it's, 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 it's direct, like, fuck that shit. There's no, there's no all misogyny matters at this point. Fuck that shit. All misogyny don't matter. You feel me? It's the misogyny towards my sisters that matters to me. Why? Because my sisters are punished and demonized for the very shit that everybody else is allowed to do. My sisters will go through the trenches to get all y'all motherfuckers rights for y'all to sweep them under the rug. So fuck y'all. However y'all men treating y'all, that ain't got shit to do with me. But how my men, how my brothers are treating that and are treating motherfucking my sisters and shit, that's my problem. That's something that I gotta work on. That's something that I gotta fix and we gotta motherfucking change this narrative. You feel me? When they can say in the same fucking breath that they hate a black woman's attitude, love a Latina woman's attitude, and it's the same fucking attitude, my nigga. You don't even hate the attitude. You hate the carrier of that attitude. Keep it a bean. And where does most of that hatred originally stem from? The home, the mothers. You feel what I'm saying? You hate your mama. You know you're not supposed to hate your mama, but you hate your mama and it reflects in every aspect of your life. Now some of us may not have that real hatred, but it might be a dislike, it might be a despise. There's certain things that our mothers may have hindered us from. There's certain things that our mothers may, hell, if our fathers wasn't in our life, we may assume that our mother kept it from him. There's a lot of things that go into it. It's called you to see the black man how you see your mama. But you won't admit that that's how you see your mama. Cause then you gotta start to reevaluate some shit. You feel what I'm saying? I'm sorry, I can't. I'm not sorry. I don't even know why I said I'm sorry. If, if, I, look, as a black man, as a, as a successful black man, as a black man with, with ambition, and, I'm a great human being. I came, I came from, I came from a black earth, right? And I love everything that I've become. That's the only thing I can plant my seed in. <laughs> Cause I know what the fuck the fruit comes. I know what the fruit produces. And I know what the fruit produces of, the, of, of everybody else too, but I know what the fruit produces cause I know what I, what I am. You feel me? And because of that, I can like, call it what you want. So what? Who the fuck cares? This is, this is what the reality is. But if we were on, in tune with that shit and our masculinity was intact, there would be more of us that, that can actually say that. You feel what I'm saying? I don't, I don't have time to, to worry about bitch and moan about why women ain't treating us right. Or why women don't let us be boys all the fucking time. Why they always nagging. I'm going to keep it a bean with you. Women don't nag with me. You know why? Because I handle the shit that I'm handling. If I say that this is what the fuck I'm going to do, now granted, I'm not going to front. That's problematic in relationships for me. Because it's like, yo, he's really doing what the fuck he's saying to do, but it takes time away from me. So I'm at a quandary right now where I don't have the time for women and they don't have the patience for me. But I still know that, yo, I'm 27. You feel me? It's, my time is like, it's, yo, it's time to start. You feel me? I get it. But a part of that goes back into my pseudo perception of masculinity. Be a protector and a provider. That means you gotta have all your shit together. Now granted, I learned this lesson too late in life. I'd say I probably learned it about, and probably understood it about four or five months ago. Matter of fact, it wasn't even four or five months ago. It was, it was a month, last month, or like a month and a half ago. 
my my little brother. I call him I call him my little brother because this is just what he's like. But he proposed to his girlfriend. They're getting married. You feel me? And it was like, bro, you didn't have the house already. You didn't have the car already. You didn't have the picket fence. You ain't have all that shit already. He was like, now, mind you, he's younger than me. He's like three years younger than me. And he told me the most profound shit that I've ever, that I've ever heard. You feel me? Now, granted, I know I drop gems from time to time, but the shit that he told me, it, it hit. He was like, bro, sometimes you ain't got to have it all together. She'll help you get it.